Alright. Streaming should be live. I need to change things. Quick break. Do. Gonna head into phase four. I'm being quite hyped. Outer Worlds. Update. There we go. Alright, that should be everything good to go. Game might be a tad loud. Eh, no, game's fine. Because I'm still quite a bit louder than it. Look and plain? Oh well, what a shame. Alright. So, I'm gonna play on hard. All subtitles, yes please. This cutscene in 30 FPS. Setting. The only colony on the edge of the frontier, owned and operated by corporations. A trip of ten short years will feel like mere minutes, thanks to the comfort and safety of your very own hibernation chamber. You'll wake up in a perfect society designed to maximize your productivity with guaranteed full employment. With only a minor term of service, you will become the master of your own destiny when you go out of this world to the Halcyon Colony. Thousands of colonists left to drift out here forever just to keep from damaging the board's bottom line. Disgraceful. Alright. Let's see. Strength affects melee weapon damage and the amount you can carry. Capacity of 80 kilograms. Dexterity affects melee attack speed and range weapon reload speed. Intelligence effects critical hit bonus damage, headshot and weak spot damage bonus, faction reputation and companion ability cooldowns. I don't think I'm going with that. Improves your natural health regeneration. There isn't really much that affects guns, long guns. Okay, well, we'll boost those up a little bit. Boost that up so I can get some extra carrying capacity. Arm. Temperament. Two-handed melee, lie, sneak, medical, engineering, determination. Suede. Supposed to be a good thing that 10% negative faction reputation reactions? I don't know. That's Some weird. Hold off around the edges. You're serrated. You've run into your share of lampposts. I'm curious whether or not people will ever actually do this, because that seems like a really stupid idea. Yeah, let's buff those up, buff that up. That buffs handguns. Um, uh, five health regeneration per second. I feel like I don't really need temperament. So... You know what, let's do that. That seems good. Alright. Two points available, so I can... Ah! Okay, so I can... Kind of... Okay, so these are more like the tag skills from, uh... New Vegas. No, dialogue. I feel like dialogue... 
If we're ever captured, Quite good. I'll let you do the talking. Yeah, that seems like a solid idea. Aptitude. No discernible aptitude. Colony sounds like, sounded like a nice entry-level career for a person to use skills. Expanding humanities reached by civilizing the cosmic frontier was ambitious enough to worry without worrying about your day job. For the rest of your life to decide how to be useful on Halcyon. Okay, let's see. Drink effect duration plus 3%. That sounds anus. Block plus 1. Persuade plus 1. Dock damage received minus 3. Engineering plus 1. Dodge plus 1. N-ray damage received. I feel like maybe science right, plus one would be good. We all start somewhere, I suppose. You know, I'll go cashier subgrade non supervisory. Gender, female, sure. Face. Um liking that one. Ooh. I'm fine with default appearance. What is your name? A boring one. Uh, summary. Base skill unlocks. Ooh. Nice. Okay. Sure, why not? I don't know what I'm doing. Looks More 30 FPS like cutscenes. So he stole me? Okay. Not likely, bootlickers. Ha ha. Oh. Initiate skip jump. But sir, there's a hole in your ship. It's that easy to just escape from assault troopers? Can I just go, quick, get me out of here? And the ship's just like, yeah, sure, why not? I'm not frozen anymore. Awesome. Ah, there you are. Wondering what's going on, eh? Bit of bad news there, I'm afraid. Your colony ship was inexplicably knocked out of skip space and forced to complete its journey at sublight speeds. This means that you and every other colonist on the Hope have been in suspended animation for 70 years, give or take. Normally, <laughs> reviving someone after so long leads to some quite horrifying results. It's called explosive cell death, but it's really more of a liquefaction. Something wrong? Oh, yes, well, not to worry. I've pumped your body full of a special concoction I devised to keep you from dying so horrifically. Well, that's nice. Oh, but uh, I guess we'll see, yes? Unfortunately, I used the last of my chemical supplies saving you. I know it's a lot to ask, but I must have your help securing more if we're to save the rest of your fellow colonists. I'd see it done myself, of course, but the board has a sizable bounty on my head. Now, my ship is inoperative, but I've managed to hire a smuggler to help you out. He'll be... Oh, I see we're in position. Good luck! Why do I care about any of the other colonists? I feel like these are supposed to be jokes. Where you like push the button, nothing happens, so he mashes it. 60th anniversary. Chairman Rockwell raises a glass to our lost brothers and sisters. Remember the hope. Hope's disappearance. Oh, the ship I was on. Well, Chairman Rockwell was probably just being a bit of a dick. You activate your inhaler. I'm asthmatic? What? is Hawthorne, and he should be waiting for you at the landing site. He's to be your uh, chauffeur, so to speak. And not to worry, I'm told he's a specialist. Dashing gunslinger, one of a kind ship, that sort of thing. You'll like him, I'm sure. I've also outfitted you with a simple wireless monitor, so I can track your progress. 
I'll check in with you as soon as you land. Good luck. I'm with all the colonists are counting on you. Oh no, could he perhaps have some kind of ulterior motive? Like killing the board? Because if so, I'm down. I'm super down. How do I know how to use this ship? By ship, I mean escape pod. Oh well. Oh, frames! You've landed good. Hawthorne should be close by. What in law's name? Is that him? Oh, that idiot. I told him to plant the beacon and move away, not stand there holding it. Oh, oh my. No sense in letting his ship go to waste. Hmm. I'm gonna... I'm gonna turn the graphics down a tad. Um... Okay. Screen effects. Let's turn that down a bit. View distance, keep that on very high. Shadows. Shadows are turned into high. That ought to... That ought to do that. That ought to keep things smooth throughout the game. Hawthorne won't mind you taking his ship. Better you than the board, huh? Not sure I trusted the fellow. Might have gone after the bounty on my head. Shame about the whole squashing thing. Nasty way to go. Well, so far it is a very beautiful game. Oh, and I can sprint. Oh, frames. All right. Might need to turn down the left control. We're changing that. I'm not. Nope. 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 <clears throat> yes, I don't want companions. Inhaler. Why inhaler? You take the time dilation, reload, bind that to my mouse button, attack, hold, power attack, uh, aim block, quick melee, what is that bound to? I think that was bound to a mouse button, interesting. Uh, companion attack, companion, yeah, I don't, don't really plan to use companions, to be honest. I never use them in Fallout. I don't use them in this. Weapon radial. Ooh. Menus cannot be rebound. Cool. Birds flying about. Bunch of little creditors about the place. Sounds good. Ooh. Who dis? Ooh. Ooh, the tall grass actually matters? Ooh, that's good. <clears throat> the awareness meter is over enemies' heads tell you if they are unaware, suspicious, investigating, or alerted. Okay. Give me tall grass. Oh. You see nothing. I almost feel like I need to turn my FOV even higher, because I swear I turned it up to... Yeah, 100. I almost need it to be, like, 110. I feel like I can't see a goddamn thing. Uh... Okay. To be unforeseen side effects. Is that how we're describing my ability to just kind of break time? Um, uh, bro. Ow. Use the emergency medical inhaler. Medicinal inhaler. Each activation consumes one adreno. I don't have low health. I'm at like half. Oh. Hey, you. Come here. You've tried the best now. Now try the rest. Spacer's choice. Oh, wow, that stinks. Huh. Looks like the bleeding stopped. I owe you one. Hope you don't mind me omitting this little exchange for my report. Spacer's choice doesn't like us accepting outside help. We were out on patrol. 
I saw a marauder camp up in the hills. Thought I could take him. Then my gun misfired right through my sight. I mean, what are the odds of that, right? Just barely scraped by with my life. Crawled in here and blocked off the exit with those canisters. Gibbering, flesh-eating, law-breaking, unemployed lunatics with guns. Some hullhead grounded their spacecraft out in the open. That's a real good way to attract marauders. See those canisters by the entrance? Marauders come sniffing around in here, and I can take them all out with a single shot. Not bad, huh? Yeah, okay. You look like you know your way around a gun. Got some spare ammo. Not counting the bullet in my side. Here, you can have my saber too, for patching me up and all. All Spacer's Choice weapons are now 30% less likely to malfunction. You've tried the best, now try the rest. Spacer's Choice. Yes, nailed it that time. You hit your head or something? You're in Emerald Vale. We're a Spacer's Choice community. Edgewater's a little ways down. Uh, prettiest place in the Vale. Uh, be sure to stop by a provisioner's for a can of our famous salt tuna. The Hope? Is that some sort of fancy new drug? Are you with Auntie Cleo or something? Don't take this the wrong way or nothing, but I'm not allowed to fraternize with Cleo workers. Company policy. Uh, this man seems like a bastion of intellect. Can I just... You don't... Found me just taking your stuff? Pre-sliced bread. Huzzah. Finally. That I can truly enjoy because it's got bread in it. Uh, let's see. Any more stuff I can take from you? Any more things I can steal? <laughs> uh, let's see. Uh, 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 Oh, I have to shoot these? Dang it, I was hoping to... Damaged my ears! Ugh. Oh, what just happened? Can you hear me? What in the hell? This... Can I shoot the sprats? Curious. Ooh, I can. 32 experience? What the hell? Why do sprats give so much? Hold on, I'm gonna... I'm gonna be a bit of a bastard. Right control armor. Ooh. Basis choice reputation decreased. Oh shit. Well, let's not do that then. Let's not kill him. Like a stand-up gentleman. Hibernation complications detected. Technical time dilation due to complications stemming from being revived after an extended hibernation. Your brain processes time differently. Pressing the tactical time dilation button slows down the world, giving you time to think as well as take action. You have a limited time in this mode. Standing still drains your TTD meter very slowly while moving an attack drain faster. The TTD meter refreshes slowly over time. I'm gonna go ahead and say that, that is just bootleg vats, but it's a kind of bootleg vats that I'm okay with. Eat shit. Holy crap, his limbs just exploded. My sensitivity is not high enough. 19%? What the hell? Turn that up to 45. Oh, okay, 45 is way too high. Down to 30. 30 might be good. 30's good. Now, what was that sprat? Little nugget. Ooh, some things. Hacking and picking locks. Your hacking and lockpick skills help you get into places you're not meant to be. Magpicks are used to break open locks, and bypass shunts are used to break computer encryptions. If your skill is high enough to break the security, you'll see how many magpicks or shunts you need and how long it will take. Raising your skill will lower the number of items used and speed up the process. Oh, we in the kind of game where... Just... 
Whoops, didn't mean to do that. Uh. Oh, it takes both of them? That's weird. Telescoping staff, okay. My inventory, like. Oh, weapon management. Uh. Inventory, light, heavy, and energy. I've got a telescoping staff. Hmm. Okay. That's fine. Oh, I could have just blown that dude up. Well. How was I to know? All his stuff. Oh, okay. Jumping. Jumping while sprinting kind of just locks you in. This isn't the kind of game. Oh. I have no cover. What? I thought he was dead. That was some shenanigans. I could have sworn I'd shot him. Holy shit, his legs got up here. Damn. What the hell? Yeah, yeah, I get it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Um... Okay, I imagine the game probably wants me to kind of come up from above on these dudes. Uh... I gotta reload! Fantastic. Oh yeah, regenerate health over time. Awesome. Don't really need to. How many? How many? How much health do I have? I'm a management. Yeah, yeah. Calm down. Ooh. Nice. Three armor, four armor. Zoomables. Yes. Calm down. Use medicinal inhaler. No. Trino. Okay. We're good. Heal up then. Get a bit of health back. Right. Ooh. That's all this then. I'm gonna turn down the visual settings a little bit more. Kind of. Still a tad high. That should be fine. Hey! Get over here before you get yourself killed. Hello. Don't know where you came from, stranger, but you best keep your head down. There's marauders hereabouts, and worse, landing violators. Call on that rung leech. Landing in the veil without using an official spacer's choice landing pad. I'd slap him with a fine if it weren't for all these marauders shambling about. Really? How is he? Shouldn't have done that. Space's Choice family ain't authorized to receive uh. medical aid from off-brand physicians. We'll see him back to Edgewater. Just as soon as I cross these marauders off with the swift, cost-efficient fury that's made Space's Choice the most trusted brand and person. God, I hate this lady. I just, you know, need a couple of winks to catch my breath. Stretch my legs, son. Hmm. Well, sometimes. 
Management's real good at cost-benefit analysis. But, seeing as I'm the acting manager in this situation, you know what? You're right. It's time we cross those marauders off, find whoever owns that ship, and file a full report. Then it's gonna be fucking laminated. I hate this lady. Here we go. Okay. Did that dude just die in one hit? Did he really? You idiot. You absolute idiot. Alright. Loot all the bodies. Fantastic. Alright. Awesome. That is huge. Lord. Let's open on up. Please be informed that this vessel contains no valuable plunder. Marauder. Oh shit. That ignoring me is dangerous for your health. Bullshit. I have tons of good things. Are not authorized to access Ooh. the unreliable amenities, including the cargo hold. Workbench, okay. Install mod. Ooh. Tinker. Okay, upgrade science skill. Repair. Aha. There we go. Side off shotguns at 5%. Or I can break things down to get weapon parts. Ooh, that's nice. One of your weapon or armor items is broken at a minimum effectiveness, you should find a parrot. One. Four. Hundred. 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 Let's talk about the shotgun. Five percent shotgun. So wait, this is probably just like a cargo hold. Which means, can I... Oh, good. Ladders kind of just lock you in place. That's always fun. Marauder, please be informed that the engine room contains nothing of value. I ain't no marauder. Calm down. Ah, oh, this is a big ship. Stuff. Always enjoy finding stuff. Thing on the table? No? Playing a game of. Is that like Chinese checkers? What the hell is that? Marauder. Oh, sealed. 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 Yeah, it's all just sealed off. Looks like it. No loops back around. Alright. Shut up, stupid ship. Hello, Marauder. I am Ada, the autonomous digital astrogator of this vessel. Please be informed that I am authorized to use violent retribution against unwanted solicitors. Please return any misappropriated equipment and exit this vessel in an orderly fashion. Failure to do so will result in your immediate destruction. I like the answer to this is yes. Procedures initiated. Disengage in airlocks. Prepare to reject all boarded parties in five, four. Three, two, one. You are still here. My deception protocols have failed. I have been programmed to express disappointment. This vessel is the registered property of Captain Alex Hawthorne. I am incapable of accepting orders from anyone other than Captain Alex Hawthorne. I deduce from the tone of your voice that Captain Hawthorne failed to meet you at the designated location. I understand. I will require some time to process this information. Thank you for your patience and for your honesty. I am programmed to take orders exclusively from Captain Hawthorne. If I accept your orders, then you must be Captain Hawthorne. Do you understand? Well done, Captain Hawthorne. I see your powers of deductive reasoning remain intact. 
Unfortunately, Happy Halloween to you too, Raging Girl. Currently inoperable. Our main drive suffered a critical power failure, and we were forced to make an emergency landing. The main drive's power regulator has been irreparably damaged and must be replaced. A Ooh, thousand experience. However, the probability of locating a power regulator within a worker settlement falls within acceptable parameters of certainty. High capacity power regulators are sometimes employed in the electrical networks of worker settlements. I have taken the liberty of printing you a new captain's identity cartridge. Please try not to lose it this time. This cartridge identifies you, Alex Hawthorne, as the registered I'm good. and captain of the unreliable. Finally fixed a problem that was making me unable to use Windows apps. So I've been able to uh, get the Xbox Live Game Pass, which is how I'm playing this game, because I'm not going to buy it from the Epic Game Store. Uh, Hawthorne of the Unreliable. Eh, I got it. Best of luck in your search for a power regulator. Try to stay alive this time. Hey, level up. Anti-Cleo management training. Skill improvements. Every time you level up, you need skill points to spend on improving your skills. Spending a skill point on a core skill improves all of the specialized skills in that group up to a maximum of 50. After 50, you can add points directly to specialized skills up to 100. Every skill improves as it grows, but special and lock bonuses occur every 20 points. Skills come to see what they are. Armor is consumables and status effects can temporarily raise and lower your skills. This helps or hurts skill checks and the skills pass bonuses, but won't give or take away skill unlocks. Alright. Congratulations to gain out of experience to go up a level. Open your character ledger to advance your character. Leveling up increases your health points, gives you points to upgrade your skills, as well as gives you access to a new perk every other level. You're leveling and you'll be upper management material in no time. Yeah, sure. Points available. Ten. Good lord. I don't quite... Oh, it's individual points now. I see. Okay. I feel like I should probably just get everything up to at least ten. Be a good idea. Dodge. Lock the ability to leap. Dodge forward. 20? That sounds good. Bonus to sneak. Attack on away enemies while crouch deal bonus damage. Oh, now we're follow. Let's see. We'll do that. That seems good. Lockpick. Dollars and containers requiring one magic to unlock are free to open. Ooh. Seems good. Unlock location hit effects for time technical time dilation. Hitting enemies in different locations during TTD, maims, or cripples of those body parts. Try at different locations to see the different effects. Heads to the chest produce different effects when using different weapons. Nice. Uh, welcome folks selection on the screen. You choose your you get to buy with huge points. Don't you also get uh like some other bonuses? Like you can get Twitch Prime unlocks in certain games or something. More base health, more max tactical time dilation. More damage when alone. See, that's nice. You're not slow, you're just fast. Nice. Weapons. Open sight alignment tool is much more accurate. I don't care about partners, so I'm just going to be bothered with that. More carrying capacity. I feel... Oh, wow, that's just tier one of this. Okay. Yeah, so let's take Lone Wolf. That. Okay, well, hopefully you figure it out soon. Find a power regulator. What's the codex? Oh, I... I don't care about any of that. Double-click jump when moving forward. Ooh. That's cool. Quite like that. Say, this wouldn't happen to be your ship, would it? Because you sure walked in it like it was your ship. And if this ship is yours, well, ma'am, you owe Spacer's Choice a hefty fine. Afraid we gotta dock your pay. Yeah, fair point. I'll let it go this time. If you're looking to help us out with our Marauder problem, talk to Constable Reyes over in Edgewater. Edgewater's not too far. Just follow the road east of here, over past the cemetery. Now, if you'll excuse me, I need to inspect the crime scene before I make my report. Cool. Where the hell am I going? Do I have a map? Ah, there is a map. Aha. Lovely. 
Alright, so I'm here. That's my ship. Alright, so I've got to head down this way. Ooh, I can even use the dodge as a kind of... You know, angle adjust. That's good. I like that. Handy feature. Old wreckage discovered. What the hell are you? Okay, you guys throw rocks. Oh, jeez. Okay. Whoops. Oh, please die. Oh! Heal! 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 Oh! Oh, didn't mean to do that again. I swear I saw that go to my right. Just completely missed me. Apparently not. Alright. Oh, don't tell me I have to... Oh, that's upsetting. Okay, so just get everything back up to that. Yeah, I'll get my dodge thing back. Put points back into that. Oh, did it just... Damn it. No, don't do that. Uh, fence. Actually, no, no, I don't need that. No, you know what? Hold on. Handgun quick chance, handgun sway. Yeah, I think I just need more damage, really. Yeah. Perks get the bonus damage. There we go. Okay. You too. Say, this wouldn't happen to be your ship, would it? Because you sure want. And if this ship is yours, well, man. Yeah, fair point. As now, if you. All right. Oh, I can just not hold forward to do a backwards jump. Okay. Neat. And now that I know that there's, like, monkeys in this thing. Whatever the hell these are. Oh, they're already chasing me. Oh my god, run away. Don't really have more... You know what? I'll come back to that area. I'll go... Examine the old wreckage some other time. I have weapons that can actually kill the primal hunters. What the? <sighs> Did I forget to? Oh no, I'm good. Say. Calm down. Shut up. There we go. Leave conversation. Fantastic. Okay. Time I'll remember to quick save. Then I'm gonna go wipe these dudes out. One of them had a weapon, which I would quite enjoy having. You alive? What health did you have? Two? I know one of them's alive. Are they both dead? 
Did I kill both of them? Where'd the second one go? The heck? I could have sworn I only killed one of them. Uh... Okay. I don't know where he went. Yeah, I don't know. Huh. Well then. Got anything else I can take? No? Alright, I was hoping to get an automatic weapon from them, but oh well. A little quick save. Fantastic. Graveyard, I guess. Pulse my gun. Hey, where'd you come from? Don't go ambling out in those hills. That's marauder territory, friend. Ain't safe out here. You'd best head into town, avail yourself of Edgewater's high walls, and low, low prices. I don't want to lie and say I'm Alex Hawthorne, in case he knows that I'm a pirate. I'm being vigilant. Don't want to get blindsided by some corpse-chewing marauder come stalking out the shadows. Oh, worse. Unemployed cannibals. You ever seen a marauder hold down a job? Or put a stake into society? Well, if you're gonna go headhunting, okay. talk to Constable Reyes back in town. He pays for marauders by the finger. Pleased to make your acquaintanceship. I'd shake your hand, but I've been hauling corpses. You don't want none of that on you. Name's Silas. Junior in humor for the town of Edgewater. We're all part of the Spacer's Choice family. Definitely not the junior in humor, that's for sure. If you've got business inquiries, you should stop by Reed Thompson's office. He's up in the tower above the cannery. Head into town, follow the road. Look, you obviously ain't a worker. What's your racket? You a smuggler? Freelancer? Edgewater is a country sure whatever I want. board owned and operated. That includes the cemetery. None of us own our grave sites. We rent them from the company. Renting means money. Money means paperwork. Paperwork means signatures. Some of our families become a mite delinquent in paying their dues, you see. Company policy. If it was up to me, I'd put the whole town ten feet under. Free of charge. Four workers still haven't paid up. Phyllis, Conrad, Ludwig, and Martin Abernathy. He's a special case. You may want to twist his arm a little. He just is. Look, I don't want to get into it. Just make sure he pays up. Conrad's got a barber shop in town. Phyllis works at the cannery most hours. Abernathy... I ain't seen him in a few days. His domicile is near the cannery. You'll find him in town. All except Ludwig, that is. He's over by the landing pad. Okay. Cool. Still dropping frames. Don't know why. Put shadows down. Just a little bit, I think. Hello? Nah, I don't care. Ooh. 
Do you want to end your years in luxury and comfort? Do you dream of walking beneath the vaulted arches of Byzantium? Early retirement is here. Early retirement is your ticket to Byzantium. Early retirement is Chairman Rockwell and Mr. Cloak's gift to you. Selection for the early retirement process by lottery winners enjoy an all-expense paid trip to their new life in Byzantium. The Jewel of Halcyon. Doubt it. Don't know why I doubt it, but I doubt it. There's no way that the rich are going to let the poor go to where they are, even if it is by a lottery. Close that door. Ooh, armor parts. Lovely. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Gonna take all your things. Nothing you can do about it. Cause I am a total bastard. Alright, and out of Edgewater we go. God damn, why am I getting... I wonder if setting it to just pure full screen change would make a difference. Maybe. Also just turn all that down. No, it's still kind of kind of stuttery. Very odd. Odd. Ah, the general store. Haha. -ha. Nope. Who's this? Something inside the walls today. Nothing for us outside those walls. You ought to know that. Staying long? I don't have time for this. Cool. Fuck you too. Keep your distance, friend. Thick house is no place for a traveler. Oh. Okay. Cool. Ooh. Please don't touch anything. Your hands are probably crawling with germs. Physical hygiene recapitulates moral hygiene. Cleanliness is next to lawfulness. No, thank you. That's quite all right. I've seen enough body parts in my line of work. I'm Conrad. You will report to me if your hair fails to meet Spacer's Choice aesthetic standards. That's amazing. You will also report to me in the event of your death. Whereupon, I will clean and prepare your remains for interment. Interment? Burial. In the unfortunate event of a fatality. It's what a barber does. We make you presentable. Ah, gravesite fees. Silas and I had talked about this at length. I thought I'd made it clear my pecuniary situation precludes the necessary restitutions. As broke as pie crust, friend. Bitless, indigent, destitute. I simply cannot afford it. I am a blemish on the prosperity of our fair settlement. When I expire, I expect Silas to toss my body into a ditch. Thank you, no. I despise the cereals. Tell Silas I can't afford to pay, and that I fully expect to have my medical rights revoked for this dereliction, with my apologies. Some time ago, I fell ill with the plague. By the grace of the law, and through my own hard work, I'd proven worthy of treatment. Frankly, I don't imagine I'll earn that right a second time. The barber work hasn't been profitable, you see. I've had to keep this old place running with my own savings. Hey, Devin. It's good. Not a bad idea. But I'd need some kind of collateral. My pair of lucky clippers. No, that won't do. Your idea intrigues me, but I'm afraid I don't have anything to give Silas. I'm open to suggestions. <laughs> Much obliged. Corporation Service Award. 
Hmm. Okay. Why does he have ammo? What the hell? Hold on. Corporation Service Ward. Couldn't he use that as collateral? You don't... You don't care... <clears throat> you don't care that I'm coming in here? Cool. Huh. Well then, that's horrifying. Ooh. Bunch of stuff on dead bodies. I've been playing for about 50 minutes. I will say this, so far playing on hard, the game has managed to kill me. And I haven't been able to stamp, slam stim packs into my face constantly, so... What can I Good. do for you? I know about Eugene. Oh, I'll come back once I've got more medicine. That's the sick house. Barber shop. Cannonies down that way. Canteen is that way. OSI. Falling sick. I don't want you near me. Don't worry. I wouldn't do that to you. What is this place? Hello. It's not the best choice. It's Spacer's choice. And before you ask, I'm all out of deluxe salt tuna. All I've got is gourmet. Hmm. You want to go have a talk with the boss, Reed Thompson. He's up in his tower above the cannery. Music to my ears. Check up, sale boy. Got a sawed-off shotgun. But it is quite expensive. Let's see. Do have a bunch of shovels. Hmm. I may as well just break those down. Yeah, I don't quite think I'll be getting much cash for any of this stuff. Yeah. Oh well. What is back this way? Ooh, hold on. Left all this stuff. Something got you down? Nothing. Just don't want to fall sick. Alright. The hell is it? Is this like our place in the universe? Is fixed. Is this the Space Corporation religion? Work fortifies the spirit. Alright, you people are all insane. Good to know. Hey there, Mary. Don't see you around here too often. Oh, I just came to talk to the vicar is all. None of us are above confessionals. What have you got to confess? You ain't thinking of deserting, are you? No, 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 no. And I resent the accusation. Wasn't nothing but a question. Do excuse me. I must confess. What's up? How's it going? Yes, what is it? You're an outsider. Fantastic. Vicar Maximilian de Soto at your service. Because it's really easy to make religion really creepy. Sort of prefers brevity. I so rarely get new people to talk to. Name your poison. Anything at all. Then this game's story is basically you, you've you landed on a planet where the corporations own everything. They have to rent out their graves, Devin. Mm-hmm. Over power regulator. Tomfoolery is well out of my purse. Mechanical tomfoolery. I suggest you take such matters to Mr. Thompson in the cannery. Oh, and a word of warning. If you're considering wandering around outside the safety of the town... You'd best be cautious. <laughs> the marauders I met when I ventured outside the walls might agree with you. Bastards snuck up on me while I was dutifully hunting for a banned book in a collector's library. Barely escaped with my life. 
But you see, one of the reasons I transferred here was to get my hands on that heretical text. If you managed to acquire it for me, Ooh. I'd pay quite a handsome sum for the book. What? No, I don't want to burn it. I would never. I mean, I just want to... Uh, look, I have a very simple goal here. I just want to keep the writing out of layman's hands. It wouldn't do for such information to fall into public consumption. It's a handwritten journal. A faded blue cover with the name M. Bakonu handwritten in the lower corner. I'll mark where I saw it on your map. Assuming you're serious? It is not only a beautiful relic of a bygone time, it's also the thoughts of an early thinker on the nature of man's place in the cosmos. Not many in this colony could understand its true value. Should they ever read it. Thank you. If you retrieve it, cool. you can always find me here. Cool. Do you have any stuff I can steal? No? Damn. There's just that one OSI vial. What the hell is an OSI vial, by the way? Going to learn. Ooh, skill bonus plus five sneak. Okay, well, I'm putting that on. Ooh, damn, son. Look at them jiggle. Where was that? OSI vial. Uh... Ba -ba -ba -ba. Oh, sci vile. Tastes like enlightenment. This might look nice in one of the crew's rooms on the unreliable. Okay. Interesting. The map. Is the map just M? It is just M. Okay. Wait. Where the... What? How did... I came in through here, so the cantina... Oh, the cantina would have been that store. Okay. I need to go up that way. There's a path out of town. Right there. Got my sights on you. Yeah, sure. Ooh. Ah. Uh, need more mag locks. Hold on. I'm getting a... Ah, oh, damn it. The pipe stops me. I had an idea. Move out the way. I've got to sneak into a back alley and steal things. A light machine gun? Yeah! Yeah! Hold on. Is there any climbing shenanigans I can get up to? No? Damn. So far, Devin, if you're still here, this game just feels like Borderlands, but not on crack. And with a greater theme of corporations, bad. Freedom, good. Okay. You're safer inside the walls. Am I? For some reason, I don't quite believe you. Okay, so this is probably that tower you were telling me to go up to. Talk to a man. Or not, because there's no way to get into the tower. Uh, 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 uh. Ah, here we go. Corporation Service Award. Okay. Somebody left their ward just chilling in a bin. I can see this game having some crazy hidden secrets. Okay. Yeah. 